Alright Stacy, we're back with your little jumbo. You can see how big he's getting. Anyway, so what we're working on got to have the subtask of heel is I don't want the leash made tight. I will tell you, just based on the other two brothers, these dogs are not sensitive to the nick. So we've got to be able to add the nick. And, and, and the way I want to do that, I want to augment any leash pressure. I am not going to waste my energy jerking on the leash and not doing the nick. It, it, it just doesn't work. If it did, every dog would heal because all these people say, I pull and pull and pull. We don't see it. If we see anybody out, in fact, we need to get like a little prize package. If we see anybody out that the dog is healing perfectly, we'll go, oh, you want a prize? Of course, they might think we're, somewhere's like, no, they might think we're strange. Yeah, I think that's a good oh, idea. Oh, that ship sailed a long time ago. Uh, but look at the little behavior modeling. Cute. And that's what they need, you know, and that's what you need to understand, Stacy. Part of what they need to do, and I'm, I'm ready, though. I'm not kidding myself that he's not going to make that leash tight. Uh, but, you know, they've got to have an understanding of the decorum, again, and it's like the horse thing. You know, I need something that I can take the reins. Now, tell us if the Stacy character ever uh, rode horses. And I can lead the thing. And I've got him going with heel. I'm not asking him to heal right now, though. I'm asking him not to make the leash tight. Somehow he's got some elbow thing with this dog. Right, I can get him away. Remy! Yay! So I've got to have the dog understand. There's no other way to do it without hooking the, uh, you know, but I, I want to do it when the dog is in an uninhibited state of mind. He's really not that uninhibited right now. And this other dog is doing a lot of posture and getting in between me and stuff. All right, so what I can just start doing, Remy, good. He's, he's probably going to give me a chance here. He's going to make it tight. His hand. If I said I'm watching his hand, if I said I want a dog that wants eye contact, good. Good. Uh, just the applied hand brought him around. We, we have we have faulty plastic bags. Stop stealing. I'll tell you what we like. Not that. All right, watch. I'm not gonna let that happen again. I'm gonna direct his eye out. Throwing my pager into the mix. In fact, we'll do another little healing one with the sound box. Because I'll tell you what I love the sound box is slow mo. I need to be able to heal him with that turn. That's how I'm going to be able to do him off leash. Sign him up for the master class. The master class. Um, all right, we go look, work on a little recall. And my character just starts putting on this lipstick. Anyway, let me tell you what was going on. I realized I have no conditioner in my bathroom. Oh no. We only usually get it at Walmart, but I don't know. The last time we went there or something, we just we didn't have time. We couldn't go to that part of the store or something. So I went on Amazon Prime. And they have so much stuff that's an add-on item. 
I'll tell you what's an add-on item. Everything on there I like. I bet. But you got to buy one thing that costs like $25. So I got this one shampoo. I don't even know if it's any good. But uh, the rest of it was all add-on. Is it shampoo or conditioner? It was conditioner, like a Conditioner, right? Well, no, but I got to have shampoo too. But yeah, but I have to have, let's just put it this way. I have a two-to-one shampoo conditioner no, ratio. No. So I need twice as much conditioner as I do shampoo. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. We're going to try to... Anyway, Pretzel got me all dirty. These jeans are just destroyed. <laughs> dirty to the pretzel. Alright, we can try to get all the recall shit. Alright. Huge. It's gotta be. What? What is that? Jeez. Like feed me. It's treats. Get that? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, it did early. I Unless, it look, ago. that one's big. That must be him right there. He's, he's big. He's gonna get really big. Somebody would love to come. Uh, I got a dog on the move here, so I'm saying to myself, harness the momentum. If it starts moving back that way again, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm saying to myself. Harness the moment. Look at me, girl. What a little girl. All right, never mind. He's going in the dishes. Oh, he'll be back. All right, look, I can do. And that's the thing with the pager. Why would I? All right, I'm going to hold my pager down. Why would I hit the dog? This dog has never even been trained to sit. Why would I hit the dog? All right, look out, look out. All right, so I got momentum going here. I'm saying to myself, I got an opportunity. And I've got my nick on about, I'm going to put my nick on about 35, 30. You need to be ready to gauge, and he's fairly at the ready. If I hit, all right, look, I'm going to get that deaf one. Just so you know, this dog has had this call on before. That's how long it took to really recognize. Either that or it was completely blowing me off. So you better make a note of that. And I'm telling you the note you better make. You might want to get on your nick, lady. You might want to get on your nick, lady. I'll tell you who will dive in the bushes after uh, any animals in here. And it's that one. All right, look, look, get on her, get on her. Watch, she's going to come this time. She's more at the ready. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. We have not had the collar on this dog. So, again, I'd probably like if you run to, a, you know, a desert, a magical island with the Wizard of Oz and that you didn't have a collar on for, you know, and if you told me it was three to four months that so we hadn't used a collar on her, I believe that. I mean, I know we did this winter, but, again, that's what we're looking at is... I'll tell you what happens to little dogs that disappear in the bushes. Oh, you go right on ahead, little dog. Remy! So I'm sure you guys heard that, and, and I was kind of twerking a little bit right there. But I'll tell you what we like around here. Not little dogs that disappear in the bushes come. Anyway, so that's what happened. I had to go on Amazon. I just got all this conditioner shampoo because uh, my character. So you had to pay the $25 for the shampoo and then you got a bunch of add-ons? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, then I started to get rid of that one. Then I remembered that was the only thing I had that wasn't an add-on and they probably wouldn't go for that. <laughs> tried yeah. to get rid of it. Yeah, tried to psych him out. No, I don't want this stuff. Tried to psych him out. That's what I do. I think it's... We don't have time to go to Walmart, so that's what we have to do. Yeah. All right, but you see I didn't lose any attitude. I'm finna do it again. Remy! Now, I better put a little practical application into it. The reason I did that is because, oh, now we're going this way. Not I'm some, you know, 
Gestapo that just has to order him around all the time. So I was like, oh crap, the Gestapo. We need to go over to Mark's bar. We need to see if they'll open the bar so we can do an episode there. They probably don't have dogs. You know, the health department and everything. Alright. Remy? I can tell you what I like. Not the response I was getting right there. Come on, let's see what's going on over here. I'm looking at something. I'm very skittish. Like something's knocked this bush down. Ah! All right, look, I can tell you right now, there's armadillos. I bet that's what they're finding. I think it's rabbits. No, no. Both. This right here is armadillo. That's what they do? Yep. Remy! So I was up to 80 right there, but Remy, I can tell you what he is still on the hunt. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'll show you on my YouTube. I'll show you on my YouTube because I'm pretty sure I have at least a couple, uh, you know, because once I got YouTube, I got it bad. I started filming everything. Uh, all right, look, there he goes again. Remy! Remy! He actually took not the path of least resistance. Come on. Be careful. There's a damn log on the trail. Uh, anyway, these armadillos go around in families. Remy? Good. So you saw what it did right there. That was just a pager, but it threw him back in my direction. That's what I need. Uh, right, look, back here in the corner somewhere, there's some little... Concrete. We need to get George to get these out of here. Yeah. Back there, there's mm -hmm. concrete. Yeah. You never noticed those before, did you? You haven't? Not really. Oh, I've never been to this part right here before. Well, then come along. You're in for a treat. It's pretty cool. The, I like yeah. this one. Remember we were going to set up a campsite back here? I thought that was on the other side. Look. Uh, I guess, yeah. We Maybe it is. So much I get lost. Yeah. Oh, look at this wonderful little trail. Now this is a cool spot here. Yeah, and our picnic tables and stuff. We need a tire Remy. swing. Remy. Remy. So I, I precursored it with my neck. Look, now these are little armadillos, boys. All of us. Oh, look at there. They're pushing them. Anyway, I'm sure I have a little There's another one. That's the neighbor and her boxers. Uh, look, if that dog disappears around the corner. And that is going to be the byproduct, you guys. They are going to start coming to decisions on their own. I don't want to make it like... I don't want to scare you some of There's a black snake right there. It's cool. I'm scared of it. Oh, is he dead? No, he's, he's playing. Dead. Playing dead, I think. He's not playing dead. He just happens to be there. Well, to not move at all. Come on. I just want you guys to, I'm, I'm glad that you got that because that's been my experience, generally speaking, of dogs with snakes. They just, all right, come on. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, that's where the saying, if it was a snake, it would have bit you came from. Mm -hmm. If you think either one of those dogs, and I can tell you right now, we could probably take them back there and they would smell it. Remy? Remy? All right, let's just take them back there. You can take them back there and they'll smell it was there, but they didn't see that thing.
charge for my theory. All right, come on. <laughs> There's Rose snipping around for a place to be. That's how I wonder where they are. Is winning the battle of attrition by making the behavior that I want happen over and over. And I need to be ready to balance that. I mean, this is my kid, and I want this kid to play big league baseball. Yeah, I'm not going to have the kid at Little League five nights a week and on the weekend. So you better know how to temper it. Yep. Oh, no. Look at all these little dig holes. Anyway, these armadillos run around. And of course, we love armadillos. And then there's usually, I don't know if it's like a mother and like four of the babies, or even more. I think sometimes there's a whole litter of them. I've never seen a baby armadillo. It'd be cute. They're adorable. Are they? I bet. They they look cuties. Like they're sort of a cross between a turtle and an anteater. Aww. They've got a little itty bitty an anteater eater looking head. Mr. Prance right, so what I'm saying to myself here Yay. was one. Let me make sure I got a harness on my momentum. I'm not gonna take right now the end of the training session to put a bunch of pressure on the dog unless he was to go in there and find the family of armadillos. I'm going to harness Remy. And I'm saying to myself right now, uh, I, I'm really, really happy with that, and I'm, I'm done. And now I'm just back to my role of Charlie Brown teacher. So that was the deal with the chase thing. Breck was immediately kicking him out of the circle. And was this going to be all my fault? I was a tyrant. <laughs> you know, I was a tyrant. I mean, you know, yeah, I was nice compared to Stalin. You know, so I just, you know, rather than react, I just waited till later and said, well, that might be a little drastic, you know. I'm telling you, these stories Chase was telling, that's why I had to shut the camera off because I don't even remember what the story was. But I know it had a kind of tone, you just don't want to, you know. Other people to know? <laughs> not even really know, but I mean, not that it was really that interesting, but I don't know. And Christian was seeming like he wasn't really being too nice in the story either. And I mean, I definitely don't want to think of Christian as anything but nice. Because I love Christian. Christian looks like you and McGregor. We need to get Christian on the show because Christian will come out. Oh, no, Christian. Oh, no, I think they said Christian moved away. I'll tell you who's cute and who's going to change the world. Christian. All right, you guys, we got to go.